Philip and the Ethiopian. Along a dry and dusty road, a chariot bumped and swayed. The man who rode that desert trail had come a long, long way. His home was Ethiopia, where Candace ruled the land. He was in charge of all of her wealth, a most important man. He'd been in great Jerusalem to worship God most high. Now he was traveling home again beneath the bright blue sky. He read the Bible as he rode, but then a frown appeared. For while he knew the words he read, their meaning was not clear. Meantime, upon another road, a man named Philip walked. He served his Savior, Jesus Christ. Of him he always talked. The Spirit spoke to Philip then. He said to him, Now go. Stay near the chariot that you find along the desert road. So Philip found the puzzled man and called out as he ran. How much of what you're reading do you really understand? Slow down and stop, the man called out. His driver pulled the reins. Then as he turned to Philip, come sit here and explain. Who is the one that's talked about? Who's like a sheep that's led? And like a lamb that makes no sound, the man confused now said. So Philip joyfully explained, my Jesus was the one Isaiah long ago foretold, God's one and only son. He came to earth to live for us, to die for all of our sin. But three days after that, he rose from death to life again. The wheels kept rolling them along beneath the desert sky. The man told Philip, I believe that Jesus came to die. I do believe he died for me to take my sin away. Look, there is water near, he cried. Baptize me without delay. Slow down and stop, he called again. They started on their way and walked down to the pool below, where Philip stopped to say, I baptize you today, my friend, in God the Trinity, in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three. Out of the water, dripping wet, came Philip and the man. They praised the Lord. They sang for joy. Back to the road they ran. Without a blink, without a sound, the Spirit of the Lord now carried Philip far away to tell of Christ adored. And like the man that Philip met, we too go on our way. We praise the Lord because we're his, and we serve him every day. Through God's own Son, Lord Jesus Christ, are every sins forgiven. And because of him, one day we'll be with God at home in heaven.